I snuggled up in the blankets on the living room couch, trying to warm myself up. Through it all, Randy never left my side. In the other room, I could hear Mrs. Harrison calling a doctor. Are you cold? Randy asked. I could get you another blanket. I'm okay, I murmured. You sure? Randy persisted sympathetically. I don't want you getting sick, buddy. I was about to open my mouth to object when Randy placed the back of his hand against my cheek, making my breath couch in my throat. Now, I'm gonna check your temperature, alright? He told me. I couldn't find a way to answer, so I simply nodded. What was he going to do? As far as I knew, there weren't any thermometers in the house except for one Mrs. Harrison used for cooking meat. Mrs. Harrison had said that it was better to buy medicine than a thermometer, and there was only so much she could afford. I tried not to look embarrassed as Randy smoothed my fringe that he used to cover my eye out of my face, tucking it behind my ear. I was about to ask what he was doing when he leaned in and... He... He pressed his lips against my forehead. I was so red that I felt as if steam would start coming out of my ears at any given moment, but when Randy pulled away, he said I felt fine. Remain calm, remain calm, remain calm, I kept repeating in my mind. What the hell was that for? I stammered, afraid to look Randy in the eyes, as I knew that I would just blush even harder. Mom always uses it to check me and my brother's temperature if we get sick, Randy explained. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry about if that felt awkward, I don't really know of any other techniques. He chuckled sheepishly. Before I could respond, Sully came bounding down the stairs and into the living room, looking very worried and holding his cell phone. I'm so fucking sorry, he blubbered when he saw me. I didn't hear you come in because I was listening to music, Randy sighed. You're a real bitch sometimes, dude, he said with an annoyed expression. It's been nearly an hour. You seriously didn't hear what it was going on? Mom was totally losing her shit over him when he came through the door. You know that I like having my music on loud? Sully so shot back. I couldn't help but chuckle, the heat finally draining from my face. Although they were close, the Harrison brothers were always getting on each other's nerves and teasing each other. I looked around at the living room as Randy started rubbing my arm again and Sully slid down on the floor. The living room was just the same as it always had been. A mantelpiece over the television which with a bunch of family pictures, Sully's old rocking horse in the corner, and hand-knitted curtains Mrs. Harrison had made herself stretched over the window, blocking the snowy view outside. Even though the Harrison family was poor, they'd always had a cozy house. So, what happened? Randy asked me at last, a concerned look on his face. Was it your dad again? I felt my heart sink. What if Randy and Sully didn't want to be my friends anymore when I told them about the reason behind the whole incident? Promise you won't laugh? I asked. Randy chuckled. <laughs> Dude, why the hell will we laugh at you? He asked. Yeah, especially in a situation like this, Sully added. I took a deep breath. Well, the thing is, I, I came out to my parents as gay and they, they didn't take it well. So, I just ran out the door before Dad could start beating my ass, I said, practically forcing the explanation from my throat. I could feel my tears welling up in my eyes once again. Why the hell am I such a crybaby? You're gay? Sully asked, looking surprised. Mm-hmm, I whimpered feebly in response, and I flipped the blanket over my head. I refused to look at them. They probably hated me now. Hey, it's no big deal, man, Randy reassured me, gently pulling the covers away and smiling at me. I blushed when our eyes met. Y you mean it? I asked, sniffling. Yeah, our mom's actually pansexual, Sully said. She's got a pride flag in her room, you never noticed? Well, I was always too shy to go in there, I said with a small laugh, relief flooding through me. Troy's transgender, for fuck's sake, Randy said with a grin. And Sully dated a guy. Why do you think we wouldn't accept you? Then his face turned solemn. Keith, I'm serious. You need to turn your dad in. I was suddenly horrified. Uh, I can't do that. I stammered. Sully sighed sadly. 
Well, I know this sounds cheesy, but if you need anything, remember that you can always come to our place if you need to get away for a while, Randy promised me. I nodded. Thanks, guys, I said with a smile. I mean it. A few moments later, Mrs. Harrison entered the room. Good news, Keith, she said with a smile. The doctor says you're going to be alright. You just need to keep yourself warm. What were you doing outside, anyway? I gulped, but Randy made up a lie. Um, his mom chased him out of the house when she found out he hadn't done his chores, he said quickly. Mrs. Harrison gave an annoyed sigh. I really need to talk to Odessa, she said to herself, and she left, muttering under her breath. That night, Randy offered to sleep on the floor next to the couch to keep me company. Mrs. Harrison had let my parents know that I was going to stay at the, her house for the night, and to be frank, I was really glad. I mean, I never wanted to go back to my house after what had happened, but spending the night and the morning of the next day with Randy and Sully would be just fine. They were always a lot of fun to hang out with. You comfy enough? Randy asked me as he wriggled into a sleeping bag on the floor next to me. I nodded. Okay, good night, Keith, Randy said to me, and he pulled the covers over him. Good night, Randy, I replied. Randy smiled at me before closing his eyes, and another flush of warmth was sent through me.